carry anything over. I think you have to play well. Um, so you start. You have to start well in game, game threes. I think we all know that. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Obviously, this is a super physical and tough team we're playing against. And, um, you know, each of the first two games could have gone either way. We were fortunate to win them, and, um, but that has no bearing on tonight. Like you, have to, you have to play really well tonight. We have to play our best game we've played yet to have a chance to win. So bonus is obviously a key piece for them all year. We only got one shot in game two. Was that, did you guys do anything particular to take him away? Or was that just kind of I think Sabonis is a, a really good player who we have a ton of respect for. I mean, a ton of respect. He moves the ball, he makes the right play, he knows how to play, he can score on the block, he can score in the seams. So obviously with guys like that, you just need to play him as hard as you can, but he's a really good player. Coach, what do you need to see from your guys on the road? I just think you have to, you have to play with great purpose, um, connectivity, and toughness for 48 minutes. And that's really... That's it. Um, easier said than done. Possession to possession. You can't let 6-0 runs become 12-0 runs. Um, you have to be able to stop those. You have to be able to do all the right things through them. You have to be able to tip your cap when they go on a scoring run where you've guarded them well and move on and score on the other end. Yeah, easier said than done, but um, great challenge for our team. During last year's run, did you notice that the players, the younger guys in particular, became a little bit more comfortable on the road than they did maybe that first game in Milwaukee? What was our record on the road? It was very good. So, I mean, I don't know about comfortable. I don't think you're ever comfortable. You shouldn't be comfortable. It's good to be uncomfortable. I like being uncomfortable. Um, I hope that uh, we feel that way the whole game, you know, that we have to make sure that we're on edge and, and ready to roll in each possession because um, every possession matters that much more. I mean, you watch the playoffs, comebacks happen like, you know, like that. Um, so regardless, every possession matters. How's Al feeling? Seems great. You know, I think it, it must have just been uh, one night. Maybe it was something he ate, I don't know, but he's feeling pretty well. Not that I know of. Everybody went through shoot around. Everybody looked good, except for Smart, obviously. Did he make the trip? Coach Gordon was efficient the other night. How much does that help you guys out when you've got him off the bench going for a percent from three? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think that, you know, he's been really aggressive and efficient for a while now. Um, and, you know, we've, we've at times contemplated putting him with that first group, especially when Smart went out. But I think that, um, you know, what we can do with him off the bench, especially when Kyrie's out of the game, um, you know, is important. And so uh, I think he's playing well. We need him to play well. He's been really good defensively too. Um, and uh, you know, we just need we need all those wings to be really impactful because um, their length and athleticism and versatility is a plus for us. Yeah, Brad. Uh, Jalen Brown had that kick out in transition to yeah. Tatum for three. Just what have you seen him for developing his playmaking instincts? I just think that's one of the things, Amanda, that is kind of learned over time, right? As he's he. Everybody's got the, the wherewithal when they come into the league to draw two, draw three, and deliver the ball. But to have the skill to be able to do it, you know, again, going left in transition, full speed ahead in, uh, you know, an area where he scores a lot. And to say that this is the right play, I'm going to make the right play in that moment is big. Like, that's just a, it's a really good thing for our team. And I thought Tatum's play, the next possession, was just as big, right? He drove it left through two, Gordon cut baseline, and he made the right play. Like, um, it's hard to score, um, and so when the right play presents itself, you have to make it over and over. That being said about Jalen, how big of an adjustment has it been for him? Well, I mean, I, think he's, I don't think it's a huge adjustment. Um, you know, he's playing pretty much the same role we've asked him to play before. Um, you know, we obviously have him guarding some very good scorers who we have to, you know, he's got to be locked into. Um, and that's what the most important thing is for our team, um, especially in that group. So, um, you know, whether he's playing with that group or he's, you know, just, or he's part of the second unit when we sub, you know, I feel feel like we know what we're going to get from him. Brett, would you consider expanding your bench? You kind of no Brett, no Wanamaker, no Shimmy for the first couple games. Would you consider kind of expanding your bench on the road or? Is, are you kind of good with rotation? I mean, I'm not, certainly not um, 
certainly not against anything, right? I, I feel very confident in both of those guys um, in coming in and giving us good play if, if we need them to. And, you know, if the game calls for it, kind of like it has for Tice in the last couple, then we'll go to it. Um, but I thought, you know, Brad Wanamaker's play at the end of the season gave me, you know, I just thought he's, he's been a pro all year, but to see it, um, to see him have to sit and then step up without much notice. It's not like I went up to him and said, Brad, you know, play 20 minutes tonight. He just, just threw him in there. Um, and then uh, Shemi's always the most reliable guy ever. Like, you just know exactly what you're getting every day with his work, work ethic and commitment to team and all that stuff. Have you met? Maybe once or twice. I guess I'm just have seven appreciation growing up there, wasn't you? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so I, I met him in a couple of functions where, you know, when I was the Butler head coach, he was um, here with the Pacers. But when you're an Indiana kid growing up in the 80s, right? And, and I've said this many times, a, a dream day for a kid from here, or a dream weekend would be to go to your high school game, which could be, you know, 5,000 people or, or 4,000 people at the game. Or if you go to Newcastle, 10,000 people. And then you go to a college game on a Saturday, whether it's an IU game or Purdue or Butler, whatever the case may be, and then the Sunday games, you get to, to watch the Pacers play, and, you know, in the 80s for us, if you weren't watching the Pacers play, you were watching basically the Celtics in the early part of the afternoon and the Lakers in the evening, and so like, um, you know, and Larry Bird, obviously, his impact on the game, his impact on all kids in Indiana cannot be overstated. Played pretty well here last time. He's had some good moments in this gym before, you know, all the way back to high school. So I think he knows what to do, and we we, we both just kind of do our jobs. Sorry. Um, going back to making the right plays, a lot of guys making the right plays down the stretch uh, at, at the end, game two. Game two is a, a game that you feels like you would have lost during the regular season. There's a lot of hero ball in those situations. Is this just a playoff focus that makes them not resort to that, or, or what are you seeing different? Um, I mean, I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that go into it, but um, when we're our very best, we're just reading reading the game and making the next right play, like I said. And, and um, I do think it's a lot of growth, um, but also you're, you're really locked in on what you need to do to have success. And we were lucky to win the other day. Uh, they had the ball up two with a couple of possessions left there in the last two minutes. Um, but that's why you stay the course in this league and you play each possession um, the way we had to play it, just to give ourselves a chance. We were very fortunate. Um, but anyways, I just think it was growth plus, you know, the heightened urgency in the playoffs. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks.